Okay, welcome officially to the vlog. This is the vlog that I am doing a day in the life, or actually days in the life before the release of my book, Enough. You, which probably released yesterday because I'm going to, today's Saturday. So I'm gonna be recording Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So I'll probably put this vlog up maybe on Wednesday or maybe the following week. I haven't decided. But anyways, it was the morning. We went to grocery shopping as you saw. We took the kids with us and I'm all out of breath because as we were coming up, this, as we got home, we had groceries and the kids and the elevator wasn't working so we had to come up the stairs so that was fun but anyways i told you guys releases don't always go as planned as i mentioned before um with amazon as far as the paperback and hardcovers are concerned you can't really press publish on the day you want the book live because it could take up to 72 hours for the vlog to, I mean, for, God, for the book to go live. So if you press it on the 22nd, which is the day that I actually want the book to release, it could not be live for four days. So that's not gonna work. So I pressed publish yesterday, Friday the 19th, because it said it could take up to 72 hours. And I didn't know if they were gonna be working on the weekend. I didn't know how long it was gonna take. And the hardcover is live right now and it's not supposed to go live until the 22nd. I'm not even gonna make a big deal about it. I'm not even gonna announce it on Instagram or say anything because I don't know, I just wanna wait till the actual release date. If somebody notices and they wanna purchase it, great. I mean, no, no what is that? No harm, no foul, is that what it is? No harm, no foul? Yes. So, I mean, great if somebody wants to buy it before it's actually release day, so that's fine. But anyways, like I said, you can never plan your releases with Amazon. You never know what to expect from them. So the rise of today, on Saturday the 20th, what's today, the 20th? The 19th. Huh? The 19th. The 19th? Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I pressed publish on the 18th on Friday because I didn't know if they were gonna be working over the weekend and I didn't know how much time they had. So today is the 19th. Saturday, so I'm gonna be vlogging today. I actually don't have a lot of work related things to do Because the only thing I want to do is I want to write an email for the release Announcing the actual release, but I'll probably do that like Monday. and You'll probably see me doing that then But I haven't vlogged in a long time and I thought it would be fun for you guys to just see You know what I do so just just enjoy the weekend, I guess. Enjoy the week and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit as I continue to vlog the release of the book. Oh my god, my... What? The paperback is now available. <laughs> Everything is live and it's not supposed to be live till the 22nd. Well, you're not promoting it, so maybe it's too nice still. The paperback is now live. I mean, that's, that's the only thing about just publishing with KDP. You have literally no control over what you do. Oh my God, what is that? And there it is. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. Live on Saturday. What's it? 319 versus 322. So we've decided to go outside for a little while. It's actually a really pretty day and it hasn't been a really nice day in a long time. And I did change my shirt because I was wearing a sweatshirt because I've been wearing a sweatshirt for 
Oh, you got Adam? Okay. Yeah. I've been wearing a sweatshirt for like six months and it's finally time to not wear a sweatshirt. Oh, it's dark. Um, so we're going outside to let the kids play around a little bit. We're going to get some sun and just enjoy this spring day. It's not officially spring. Spring starts tomorrow. But yeah. All right guys, it is day two of the vlog and I decided today I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble. I haven't been there since, I don't know, January, I think. It's been a while. It's not really close to where we live so I don't get to get, I don't get to go there as often as I would like. So I thought it would be nice to just be in the book environment for this release. So I'm heading that way now and it's about, oh, you haven't changed the time yet. It's 10.22 on Sunday. So, see you at Barnes & Noble. Okay, so a few things have happened since I last vlogged. <laughs> we went to Barnes & Noble, as you saw. I didn't pick anything up. I really wanted those fairy cards, but I couldn't just justify it because I have so many Oracle cards at home already. I just couldn't justify getting another pair, another deck right now. We also went to, we also went to Best Buy because I'm looking into getting a new camera. I'm probably gonna get it on Amazon because I already know which camera I want. But um, I didn't bring out the camera there just because, I don't know, I feel weird taking out the camera then and putting it back in my purse and I'm always like afraid of <laughs> recording in person, I mean outside. So I didn't record there. Then we went to Target, but we ran into my daughter there and then we went to lunch. So we just finished lunch and we're heading home. And she was, I'm also here. Yeah, we Adam, from my Adam didn't want to keep running errands with mom. <laughs> Adam didn't want to keep running errands with Mama and Dada, so he came with us. And oh, truck! And we're going home now. My eyes—I don't know if you guys can tell, probably not—but my eyes are like burning. And I don't know if it's from the mascara I put on this morning, or the lotion I put on this morning, or sorry, I'm so close. That's why I want to get a new camera too, because like my arm is as far as it goes, and I'm still like not in frame. So I don't know. Anyways. Um, so we're going home now. Probably gonna take a nap because I'm tired. I always take a nap. That's a fun fact. Every day, nap time. So, yeah, just heading home now and I have a lot of work to do tomorrow. So, I don't know if I'll pick up the blog again today. If I do something exciting, I will. If not, then I'll pick it up tomorrow.
Welcome to day three. You just saw a little bit of my morning routine. It was just my workout. It wasn't anything, you know, crazy. I didn't even go hardcore because I'm kind of sore. My arms are a little uh, sore. But anyways, as you saw yesterday, I got home and I literally slept for a long time. I did nothing. I don't know what was in that food that we ate, but I was knocked out and my eyes were killing me. I could barely open my eyes. Yesterday, I don't know if it's if it was allergies in the air, I honestly have no idea. But anyways, I didn't do anything, so I didn't record any more after Barnes & Noble. And then, so this morning I did my workout, and I made my bed, like I always do. And I did already write my to-do list. I have a lot of personal things to do today, but I also have some work things to do as far as the release is concerned. Um, I have to obviously vlog. I have to edit this vlog as you guys saw in my last uh, one of the clips I was already starting to edit because I don't want to wait till the last day or to, for all the clips to be done for me to edit. I also have to Create a post or a reel for the release for today and tomorrow and or either both a post and a reel I'm not sure yet which you know whatever you guys get it. <laughs> I also have to write an email to my email subscribers announcing the book release even though the book, as you guys know, is already live. Anyways, and I also have to start thinking about... Oh, did I say edit? Yeah, I did say edit. I also want to start thinking about the trailer for the book. And the reason I say start thinking about it is because I have no, like, idea what I want. It's not like I have this idea in my mind and then I have to go put it together. I literally have no idea what I want this book trailer to look like so I'm starting to think about it and if I think of something I'll start putting it together and I'll share it with you guys if not maybe I'll just share my process with you or maybe you won't even make it onto this video because I honestly like I said I have no idea so anyway without further ado today is Monday April 20 oh my god why can I say things today is Monday March 21st and the book releases tomorrow even though you guys know it's out all right let's get started all right so it is day four it is officially march 22nd 2022 which is the official day of the release of enough stuff the negative chatter and know your worth and yesterday got a little complicated because the baby hurt himself he busted his lip and it was just a series of events that just kind of like drained my energy and I just didn't feel like doing anything so I didn't write the email I didn't do a lot of the things that I needed to do and that's what I'm getting ready to do now but to be honest this always happens to me on release day this is the day that I'm supposed to do lives I'm supposed to do all the sharing all the talking and I don't want to honestly I don't I don't I don't feel like going live. I don't feel like talking about it. <laughs> At this point, I'm just so tired. Like I love writing. It's such a fun experience. I love writing books and holding the book in my hand. But sharing it and talking about it constantly is not fun. I just, I wish I could just share it and everybody wants to read it and then it's done with, but that's not the way it works, especially when you're self-published. But I did want to talk real quick about, I know this was kind of like an uneventful um, release week. I know that you probably have seen other authors in their release week and they've got all this going on and they've got mailers to mail out and they've got this to order, all these things going on as far as the publishing goes. And on my end, it hasn't been this way this time around. It's actually been a really chill release and I think it's because I was kind of prepared and ready. I didn't wait for the last minute for pretty much anything. So the book has been ready to go for a while and I think maybe that's the takeaway if you are planning to self-publish and if you want a more relaxed week or a more relaxed launch, then don't push your release so close to where you're running, you know, on empty. I have a video where I did where I was actually launching two books at once and it wasn't one was a relaunch and I would then I was launching 
an audio book and then I was launching a new book. So it was almost like three books. It was, it was insane. So that I don't recommend. And this one was just one book that I'd been working on for a long time. The editing had been done for a long time. The cover had been done for a long time. The upload had been done for a long time. And all this time I've just been like prepping up to re the release. So yeah, this is basically a very relaxed launch. I didn't go crazy. I didn't even upload it to like all the different websites. I just uploaded it to KDP. I'm doing even the Kindle Unlimited. So that means I didn't upload it to draft to digital I, I didn't upload it to Ingram Spark. I only did KDP. So I'm just sticking with that for now. I haven't ordered. I'm going to do a signed copy option on my website. I haven't done that yet because when you order, when you self-publish with KDP, you can't order author copies until the book is live. So now that the book is live, I can order the copies and then I will do a option for people to, if they want signed copies, I can do that on my website, but I'm not doing that till next month because I do have an announcement coming up of something that's happening next month, but I can't mention it right now because it, it there's no point in doing it at this point. I have a vlog plan for it. So signed copies will be available next month towards the end of the month probably if not even may but anyways right now um like i said it's been a really chill release there hasn't been a lot of work that i needed to do i am actually going to go do a couple things right now so i'm going to update my website i'm going to write the email and i am going to create an ad now that the, the book is out i'm going to create an ad with um amazon so i'll share with you guys how i'm doing that but like it's like the time right now it's literally 10 o'clock and i haven't even written the things that i need to do so i'm gonna go do that now and let's see where the day takes us <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm actually gonna close out the vlog now. As you can see, I got a lot of work done. I finished pretty much everything, not pretty much, I did finish everything on the list. At this point, it is almost three o'clock. 
I did a reel. I've done a couple of reels. I've shared it on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you go there and follow me because I'm there every day. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog, the behind the scenes of an author publishing another book. I hope you found it interesting and encouraging and to know that it's always not as stressful as it might seem on other times. So on other videos that you might see out there, sometimes you can just have a chill release and it can still be successful. You know, you just have to manage success for yourself and know what that means to you and go at it from that angle. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. And I will see you again in another video next week. Until then, stay safe.